What's up y'all, it's your girl Sang, and today I'll be reacting to a video from Fleckis Talks titled, Cops Called. Is this LGBTQ Pride event good for kids? Let's find out. If your child came to you underage, let's say age 12, and said, I don't feel like this gender, I want to be another, would you be accepting of a uh, gender reassignment surgery? Absolutely. What? She's crazy. She's crazy. No, I would not. First off, the kid's body isn't done growing. The mind isn't fully developed. And once you do that surgery, you can't go back. So while I would not approve of it while they were minor, they could do whatever they want as an adult if they felt that strongly about it. But at 12, no. What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Bo Diddle, and we're here in Louisville, Kentucky. Right here behind me is an event put on by Drag Queen Story Hour. We're going to see what's going on at this event. What is Drag Queen Story Hour? First off, why do we need to add drag queen with little kids story hour? That don't even mix. I'm not saying they don't need to know. I, I get how the world is like nowadays. So it's like if they see somebody down the street and they be like, mommy, daddy, what's that? And ends up being a drag queen. You know how the the it should go to educate your child? Just look at them and be like, oh, that's a drag queen. And they'd be like, what's that? Just explain what it is. Boom, you're done. You don't need all of this to explain what a drag queen is. And special shout out to Flecka's Talks and Common Ground Studios for having me in on this video. If you wanna watch more of my videos, you can find my channel tagged down in the description below. Let's get into it. We're doing a video on the LGBT. Would you be interested? Actually, I'd really like to get her. Would you be interested in doing an interview? We're talking about the LGBT. Sweet. First question is, do you think that pride is a place? Her, first of all, this is a kid event? Her tatas are out. Why are your tatas out at a kid event? I don't care if the nipples are covered. That's, bro, I wouldn't even, first off, take the gay thing out of it. This could be just a regular carnival and I would still have a problem with this. Why, put a shirt on. Or at least like, at least what's socially acceptable if we go out with like uh, bathing suits or something on, just put a bikini top on or something or a sports bra. What are you doing? Place for kids? Uh, yeah, it's not inherently sexual. People like to see it that way, but it's really like, it doesn't have to be something that, you know, you're just, everybody's out here having sex and stuff. No, it's about accepting that, like, other people like other people, and that's fine. Do you think- Not inherently sexual, yet your breasts are out. Make it make sense. think that the Pride Festival is a place for children. Yeah, I think it is. I think it's a safe space. Do you think that the Pride Festival- Her type, I'm just realizing hers are hanging out. You know, so she has the sports bra and she brought it down enough where it's like, what was the point of this? Just pull your sports bra, put them back in. You still got the rainbows going. You don't need your, you don't need your breast out. Is um, a good place to bring children. Absolutely. Um, I mean, oh. I feel like it's the children's, you know, obviously decision to make, but um, to let and look at this over here. This sign says bag of dicks. And she's just like, oh, yeah, you bring kids here. Yeah. Why would I want, why would I want my kids around all this stuff? This this is weird. It's going to be free and open and just to see everything, you know, out in the open. I think it's a really good opportunity for them. How about the way people are dressed? Do you think that that's okay for kids to see? So, for instance, I'm not trying to call you out, but... You're dressed in basically nothing, do you, or you are not dressed in nothing on, on top. So do you think that that's okay for a kid to see? Um, yeah, I'm not doing anything like crazy. I'm not like going up to them and trying to touch them or anything. I'm just like, I'm just existing in what's comfortable for me. You think it's okay for boy, little boys and girls to see boobies? I mean, they're going to probably see them one day, so it really Do you think matter. now's the time? Uh, it is... It's See, not. Nah, nah, you're thinking about it for something you agreed with a second ago. You're thinking about this way too long. To if he's like, he he put he walked her right into that. And she's now nah, she you're thinking about this way too long for something you originally agreed with. So you you know it's wrong. Like a little kid shouldn't be seeing it. It's. Mm, I wouldn't wouldn't know, but like, wouldn't as know. long as you're not being weird about it and like shoving it in everybody's face that you're shirtless. If you're just walking around and you're shirtless, nobody really cares. Everybody's going to have their opinion about it, whether they're a kid or not. And kids are going to stare, so do adults, so it doesn't really matter. 
I say this as respectfully as possible. I do think it's wrong the way you're dressed with kids um, around. I think that is insensitive. And I'm not saying that in a disrespectful way. I say that as respectful as possible. But I do think the way you're dressed is um, inappropriate for children to be looking at. It is inappropriate. Uh, I don't think so. Because trying to demonize the naked body is really upsetting because that makes kids feel very uncomfortable with being themselves when they're naked or makes them feel that them being nude or in, in less clothing makes them feel like that they're objectively trying to get something like sex or something. When Not your really. naked body is your natural body and that is how it is. Say I get what she's saying, but like in the same breath, when I was a kid, like um, seeing the way she's talking about it needs to be seen to be normalized because then kids feel awkward and blah, blah, blah. I've never felt awkward about my body or myself. And honestly, what made me awkward was like actually seeing things I wasn't supposed to be seeing at the ages that I saw them. Um, and that, that doesn't mean my parents had me in messed up environments. It's just, but if you see certain things on TV or you go to your friend's house and you may see something uh, on TV or on the computer at their house, and it, it, you're not supposed to see certain things at certain ages. That made me feel weird versus, like, me not seeing it. I felt fine about myself, so I don't think she used a very good example to get her point across. You had a child, I don't know if you do or not, so say you did, um, 10 years old, and he, and he or she came to you and said, I want to have gender reassignment surgery. Would you be accepting um, to change your child's gender at 10? It would be a hard decision. I would be accepting, though. I mean, if that's what you want to do, if you're very confident in it, then yeah. And if your child came to you underage, let's say age 12, and said, I don't feel like this gender, I want to be another, would you be accepting of a uh, gender reassignment surgery? Absolutely. Yeah, I feel like everybody, I don't care how old you are. Even though the brain's not fully developed, it's still okay. You know, I honestly, I think at 12, 13 years old, you're right on that line of being able to, to make that decision for yourself, but I feel like if you've really thought about it and it's just something that you want to do, go for it. Thank you for your time. You're really not, first off, this is so weird because like these, these adults look like they're in my age bracket, so it looks like it's like my generation. What happened to us to turn us into this? Like what, what happened, first off? Secondly, her saying that the kid is like right on that line where they can make that decision themselves. There was a story where this mom pretty much lost her daughter. Yes, her daughter. I'm not going to say it's her son yet because like the kid is still like very confused. Lost her daughter and I think it was around that age of like 12, 13, or 14. And when up happening, her and her ex had split up and they shared custody and everything was working fine. The ex starts dating a therapist. So the, the dad starts dating a therapist, marries the therapist. Daughter goes over there. They have one conversation, right? Daughter was a girl, super girly girl, loved being a girl. Had one conversation with this therapist. All of a sudden calls back home to the mom and is like, hey, I'm a, I'm, I'm a boy. I think I'm a boy. And the mom's like, huh? Since when did this happen? Well, you know, I talked to such and such and I'm a boy. Kid never had this thought before, right? And mom's just like, well, sweetie, we can talk about it when you get home. And then she immediately starts lashing out at the mom on the phone like, ah, such and such said you weren't going to be supportive, blah, blah, blah. I'm not coming home. Mind you, the mom wasn't tripping or she was just like, you know, this is just out of nowhere. Um, when you get home, we'll talk about it. Ever since that conversation to this day, she has not seen her child lost um the court has ordered her to stay away from the kid lives like about down like she said like 10 minutes away down down the street a couple blocks over or something can't see the child in person can't talk to the child on the phone and they're like you have to respect that child's decision because they want to be a little boy and they want to get the gender reassignment surgery do you know that child doesn't even want to be a boy anymore after now further talks they're like well i don't think i'm a boy anymore and i don't want the surgery but I want you to address me by my pronouns, which I forgot what they were. And then the mom had to talk to the court and was like, well, what do these pronouns even mean? So I can at least know how to use them. Court couldn't give her an answer on that. And was like, well, you don't respect the pronouns and you just can't talk to her. That, so to sit there and be like, 12, 13 is on the line of what they know what they want. No, they don't. They are still a kid. Man, when I was around that age, I, I in 2K... 
this was like on Dreamcast when you build your player and you could have like the tattoo options and the hair options. All this, there was this cool full sleeve tattoo. I'm just like, oh, that'd be awesome. I want to get one of those as soon as I'm 18. Did I get one of those as soon as I turned 18? No, because I, I realized it was stupid and it wouldn't look right on me as a girl. That's so like, yeah. To, you can't sit there and say a 12, 13 year old is right on that line of what they know what they want. They don't know what they want. Excuse me guys, I'm doing a uh, YouTube series talking about children and the LGBT. Would you be open to talking about it? No, not today. Not today? All right, I figured. You can go, you're on private property. This is private property, this, this is, private is property. McDonald's. It's McDonald's and private property, you have a permission from the ownership. So, so you can get off the property. Will you, I will get off, but will you talk to me about like the, the children and what's going nope. on here? Nope. You don't want to talk about it? Thank I won't have any discourse with someone like you. So. This is a public event and my man was like, nope, private property. No, it's not. It's a public event. Anybody could come in here. We're going to get nowhere as a nation if you don't talk to me. Um, you can leave. I know I can leave. I'm choosing wait, 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 not wait, wait, wait. to. You need to leave. You're being told to leave. I'm an organizer of this event with the owner's permission that's here. You're not allowed to be on this premises. So you need to leave. Okay. Excuse me? Would you would you be interested in taking an interview? I'm just talking to people about the LGBT. No, no. Yes, queen. Yes, queen. Yes, queen. Yeah, go off, man. Would you like to talk, sir? No, actually, there's some um, LMPD right there waiting for you out there. Okay. Sweet. So you stay here. You stay okay. here. Sweet. You stay here. Okay, I'm not going anywhere. It doesn't matter what my name is. Okay, then great. Then you stay here. Okay, I'm not going anywhere. Why did they call the cops on him? He's just asking people questions. <laughs> He's not harassing anybody. He's just asking people questions for a video. Y'all, hold on, man. They felt that threatened by that? Where they literally called the cops on him? <laughs> How's it going, officer? Hey, I'm, doing, I'm doing all right. Okay. What kind, of, what kind of issues they got going on? Uh, no, see, I just wanted to talk, and anyways, they were, uh, they wouldn't talk. They told me to leave, so anyways, I did leave. Um, there, I don't know why you guys got called. I'm just trying to talk to people. I'm conducting manager, interviews. Right? He's it's all on footage too. I mean, you can see it. Um, Are you the manager? I'm the general manager of the store. Okay. Okay. Okay, well, he has that right to okay, say, that's fine. you know. That's fine. Okay. I'm just conducting interviews. I do a YouTube channel. I talk to people. Um, nothing's going on. Nothing bad. Yeah. That's fine. Just, you know, let's keep it peaceful. Okay? Yeah, of course. Shiver me timbers, man. You really got me. No, get off on the You really got me. You really got me. What is your point here, No. Keep going. Why are they so mad? <laughs> Why are they so mad? They're like, no, man, you get back here. You get back. What, what's your point being here, man? It's like, he can't ask people how they feel about kids being at these events and would you allow your kid to do this? He's not harassing anybody. He's not tripping. <sighs> All right. For y'all like super sensitive. I'm gonna be real with y'all. A lot, a lot of y'all that be at these events are really sensitive, bro. Like super sensitive. Excuse me, guys. Do you guys know where the child grooming section is? Oh, sure. All right, bro. Yeah. Now you on one. Now you on one, bro. Your questions at first was cool. Why'd you ask that? <laughs> All right. Now he now he mad. They called the cops on. Now he just wilding out. Sure. Okay. So, do you think uh, it's important to bring more more uh, children into the community? To let them be known that it's okay for like to let them know that there's a place they can be accepted for sure. Yeah. Can I ask, uh, are you less, like, can I ask what you identify as? Uh, yeah, uh, I am a trans man. Trans man? Yeah. So your pronouns are he, uh, him? Yeah, he, him, it, sir. Yeah. And do you agree with the fact that sexually you are a woman? Um, biologically, yes, but that doesn't really mean much to me because I still feel manly regardless of the body I was born in. I still feel more like I don't have to prove that I'm like this macho man by doing stereotypically masculine things. I still like dressing up like really femininely. I still like wearing heels. I still like wearing dresses. But that doesn't mean I'm not a man. I still enjoy doing the things that everybody else does. I just don't care what other people think. Are you going to go through any like transgender surgeries? Uh, yeah. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Uh, I do plan on getting top surgery or like, you know, some kind of breast removal and getting on like hormones. Yeah. Well, thank you for your time. No problem. Oh, this that's the one thing I don't understand. I know my brother was telling me one of his friends, um, he uses the pronouns they and them. And he said the reason his friend does that, like he's 
a man, he's born a man, but he feels like he doesn't fit in either box, right? So he's just like, oh, I'm not the Joe Rogan type. I don't like to um, smoke cigars and drink whiskey and, and do that type of stuff. But I'm also not super over here with, with the feminine stuff either. I just feel like I'm placed in the middle. And it's like, bro, that's fine. Like, but you're still a man at the end of the day. I, I think, okay, I think that's where my whole thing is at. Like, coming up, I like I was more into doing like the stuff that the boys were doing versus the girls. But at the end of the day, I'm still a girl and I love being a girl. And I never changed. I never looked at it. It was like, well, I, I really like playing with cars and basketball and shooting rifles and stuff. I must want to be a boy. I really like I'm on that spectrum. I probably should just be a boy. It's like, no, you're still, I'm still a girl. Just like guys who feel like that way. If you feel like, man, I'm not really into sports and hunting and all this other stuff. But you're still a guy, and that's okay. Like, it's okay you're not super into what people think masculine things should be. Just like it's okay that I'm not super into a lot of feminist stuff. You're still you at the end of the day. I think you just need to be okay with being you. I really think that's what that boils down to. You don't need to destroy your body. You don't need to do anything else. Just be okay with being you. Like, if you feel like you'd be like, oh, I just feel more masculine and I want to date a woman. Date a woman. Do it. Nobody cares. All the extra pronouns and names and chopping stuff off and none of that makes sense. Because every time I hear the reasoning, I'm just like, bro, just be you. Like, I, I just feel like you're just not comfortable in your body. Like, just be comfortable with you and it's okay if you do all the other stuff. I think that's really what it boils down to. This is great. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing great. W one second. I'm trying to do an interview. Excuse me? You look great. I identify as black. Um, would you like to be in an interview doing a, doing a series on the LGBT? Sure. Okay, sweet. So, uh, what's your thoughts on children in the LGBT? I think uh, children should be allowed to be in LGBT because uh, it, where I used to live, I was the only gay kid in the neighborhood and all my friends uh, were uh, able to accept themselves easier because I was out and uh, very queer. If you raise kids it, going to pride festivals, I think they're going to be more gay. Do you agree? Uh, well, yeah. I was raised in a church most of my life and here I am, I'm not straight or a Christian even and my all my family is straight I've had maybe one or two aunts that were part of the community but everyone else still supported it but never talked about it until I was maybe 16 and I actually figured out that I like girls and boys so so your shirt says pan uh, pansexual I'm assuming yeah. you want to talk about that what does pansexual mean to you it means liking anybody for just their personality just rather than who they are does that include animals? Not really. Not really, but maybe a little bit, because you said really. Maybe a little? I love animals, but I would not be sexually attracted to them at all, no. Do you think it's okay, though, if someone is? If that's what they like, you can, you can argue with it, but at the end of the day, it's their choice, and you can just let them be and just kind of ignore them. If this doesn't make you lose faith in society... Ah, bro, you're talking about bestiality right now, though. That's... Ugh. In terms of her saying, though, like, um, he brought up a good point where he said, don't you think an environment, if you're brought up this way, you're going to be this way? And she was like, not really, because I was brought up and blah, blah, blah. There is literally a study done. You know how everybody has says, like, oh, you're born gay, right? There's, like, a gay gene or something in you. There is a study done that states that whatever is in you that makes you like the same sex or whatever, right? At most... That's only 26% of who you are. So what's actually inside of you, at most, it would be 26% if you're going to lean towards being gay or not. Now, in the grand scheme of things, that's not a lot. That's not very high. If you like, if this is 100, you'd be like, like down here, right? So what they said would really factors in for somebody playing for the same team, essentially, is um, that other 74% or, you know, because that's just the max though. So at minimum that the other 74% would be environment, which is why he brought up being raised in this environment because that does happen. So, and then for the 26%, right? I'm just going to keep going for the max of that. I'm not going to go to the actual numberings, but 
uh, for that 26%. They also said that 26% not only factors in if you're going to like play for the same team or like both teams, it, it also factors in if you're into like trying new things, if you're a daredevil, stuff of that nature. All of that is factored into that 26%. So they don't even know what actual percentage of that leans towards you being homosexual. So I just wanted to put that out there. That's an actual study that actually came out um, a few months ago. You guys can go Google it. It's a thing. If I, uh, if I remember, I'll put it in the description box below. But go ahead and read it. It's actually a very interesting read. So I would, I would take a look at that if you guys ever get a chance. Society, I don't know what will. You asked if this will make kids gay. It's not. It's just educating them. I'm asking if it's going to bring more people into the community and in turn make more children gay. Oh, no, it does not. You don't, you don't think so? Make more children uh, more likely to come out if they are gay. Yeah, it shows that our community is accepting of people. And then also, not only that, it also shows... Like, it's the same as taking a kid to a straight wedding. Not really. It well, is. No, no, that's that's the norm. That's the norm. Uh, so, like, it's in the these norm, shows, you, a, a you have was the norm. Uh, people, in, people in different dress, you know, like, you know, for example, you're a good example of what, you know, some people wear. And, you know, I just don't think that's necessarily appropriate for children to see, especially when they're a younger age. Well, then what about all the TV shows that people leave on TV? What about all of the actors at award shows that wear even more revealing stuff? Yeah, it's a problem in society. We're, we're in a very degenerate yeah. society. We got to fix that. Not that is a problem, but with the same thing, TV shows are usually rated a certain level. So if your kid is six and it's rated TV 14, TV M, TV R, your kid shouldn't be watching it anyways. Like that's, that's an adult show. So if somebody's dressed a certain way and doing certain things in there, you can't, you can't sit there and be like, see, see, my six-year-old's watching it on TV. Your six-year-old shouldn't be watching it to begin with. Same with award shows when it comes down to like the MTV awards and stuff and, and BT awards, whatever, whatever the other ones are. I haven't seen an award show in like years, but a way a lot of those celebrities dress, like uh, I'm gonna use Lizzo for example. I know people hate when she gets used as an example, but the only reason I'm using her, there's times where she'll wear stuff where her butt is out. That is super inappropriate. <laughs> it's like, it's, like I wouldn't want my kid watching that and just see like booty out there. You know what I'm saying? Or um, how Lil Nas X and some of his performances, he's like super sexual. I can take it back too. like, I remember Janet Jackson used to get really super sexual in her performances as well. So I, I don't want y'all to think I'm just bashing a certain group of people, but like, that's also wasn't inappropriate for a kid to look at. So you gotta be a parent and like really monitor what they're seeing. So that wasn't a good example she used. I agree with you. I'm not disagreeing with you. Why are you asking, why are you so pressed about the gays and asking them homophobic questions on our own day? Like, why did you come to Pride? This is a public event, so it I can. Is, but is also, you're also called. You're also not making it very comfortable. This is my first I'm, part of it. That's cool. Um, but you can send it to the interview. You could leave at any point. I'm not holding you guys back. You guys are just making excuses. Yeah. We're not. We said everything. We answered every question. Okay, but you're trying to make me feel like I did something wrong and I've done nothing wrong. You, you can send it to the interview. Wrong. Well, you could have left at any point, but you chose to continue to talk to me. Bigoted. You're bigoted in a place of acceptance. Okay, so right here it says. I don't know if it's a place of acceptance. They called the cops on him because um, one dude refused to do the interview. And he was like, okay, that's fine. I'll leave. And then he got the cops called on him. Free mom hugs. I'm going to ask her if I can have a hug. Excuse me, ma'am. Can I have a mom hug? Aww. Free mom hugs right there. Do you have anything to tell the YouTube channel? Blacks for Trump. Mm. Will yeah. you still hug me? I did hug you. But would you do it again? Yes. Aw, thank you. Because you're human. Thank you, thank you. You have a good day. She was a nice gay woman. Why did she look at his shirt and it was like, blacks for Trump? Mmm. Walked away. It's like, I hate to break it to you, but there, there are blacks for Trump, so there's black conservatives. <laughs> get used to it. Ask, what is this on? My YouTube channel. Can I get okay. your YouTube yeah, of course. channel? It's uh, Bo, B-O. As in like body odor, but I actually don't have body odor. And then diddle, D-I-T-T-L-E. So if your kid grew up and it was like, you know, I want to be heterosexual, would you be okay with that? Or are you kind of hoping for homosexuality? That was a weird cut. Okay, I didn't know that was about to end. That was a super weird cut. But um, yeah, that's, uh, you guys already got my point of view on it. There's just, there's certain, certain things I don't agree with and it's, like I said in one part, 
when it comes down to the inappropriateness of like having a kid there or anywhere that's inappropriate like i don't care like i said i didn't care if that was a carnival if people's breasts were out at a carnival we're talking about straight people now and, and guys d's were out i have a whole problem with that too so it's not just like a, a gay thing it's, it's but it is what it is um if you guys want to see me react to more content like this make sure you like comment subscribe hit that notification bell so you never miss when i drop a video i try to do two to three every day but life happens and when it does i try to keep you guys updated on my social media accounts the links for that is in the description box below so until next time you already know who it is it's saying